What is up guys, Eric here with Team Eccentric, and I'm bringing you guys my Rocket Dragon Link deck profile. Uh, obviously we got the Structure deck recently, and it lended rockets with a lot of uh, support that it definitely needed. I was waiting for this archetype to get its support, and finally we are here. Um, this isn't uh, like a pure Rocket deck, obviously, as I said, you know, it's Dragon Link Rocket, whatever, you know, it's a bunch of shenanigans. Um, and the deck, honestly, is really adaptable, and can kind of mold itself to whatever situation it's in. Um, and that's kind of what I like about this deck. It's, it, it can play through a lot of different things. Some decks just can't, only based on the fact that your opponent, in a way, like depending upon the effects you're activating, your opponent cannot respond, um, you know, to like things like Boral Sword, Boral Load. We all know that, you know, those cards are really strong in and of themselves, but in a deck that actually utilizes their ability to uh, block your opponent from responding while also triggering your rocket monster effects. It, it just makes the deck really strong um, in like a mid-game scenario. So um, I'm also going to be profiling the side deck for you guys so you guys can see uh, kind of what I have, um, you know, composed, concocted with this deck. So we're going to get right into it and we're starting it off with Triple Rocket Tracer. Um, this this card is pretty ridiculous. I'm going to go through quickly about what they do. This card, um, while it's face up on the field, you can target one face up card you control. Um, and destroy it and then special summon one rocket monster from the deck except rocket tracer um, But if you utilize that effect you cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck except dark monsters for the remainder of the turn And there's only once per turn also it's level 4 tuner which does add um, The capability to use it to go into your Borsal of Savage Dragon which is probably one of the strongest cards in this deck so that's uh, That after that we're playing double uh, Absol Router Dragon now this card uh, it's a level seven, which uh, there is a level. There are a few level one tuners in this deck that you can utilize to make the border load, the border load Savage Dragon. And um, what this card does is, if you control a rocket monster on your field, you can special summon this card from your hand. Um, if this card is sent f uh, to the graveyard in any way, you can add one rocket monster from your deck to your hand. Um, you can only use this effect once per turn. So uh, this card uh, just uh, lends itself to your bad hands a little better because if you just draw this in a rocket monster you at least have a link to you can go into um and it's not that bad so uh two of those um after that double magma rocket dragon um one silver rocket dragon one auto rocket dragon one metal rocket dragon and then one rocket synchron uh that was a lot to go into but so each of these have uh the uh inherent ability where that if they're destroyed by battle or card effect at the end phase of that turn you can special summon a different rocket monster from your deck but also they do something else when they're targeted by a link monster when magna rocket dragon is targeted by a link monster its quick effect allows it to destroy itself and then um it allows you to send not destroy uh send one monster your opponent controls to the graveyard and it doesn't target uh, Silver Rocket Dragon um, is kind of like your, uh, your uh, I would say, uh, kind of like Zaborg in a way, where it, it's the same uh, condition as Magna Rocket Dragon, where you have to target it with a Link Monster effect, and then you quick effect destroy it, and then you can look at your opponent's extra deck and then banish one card from it. Um, it's also the biggest of these, so you know if you're ever in a scenario where you need the biggest one of these, you know that's... Silver Rocket Dragon, so and again, it also has the effect where if it's destroyed by card effect or battle, you can special summon something at the end phase, so. Um, and then Auto Rocket Dragon um, does the same thing as Magna Rocket Dragon, but it sends a spell or trap card, so that's a thing. Um, uh, Metal Rocket Dragon does the same thing as Auto Rocket and Magna Rocket, but it sends cards in the same column as it. So if your opponent has like, like let's say you put this next to the extra monster zone, your opponent has the extra monster zone, the monster note zone beneath it, and the spell and trap zone, beneath it filled up and you put this in that zone which is actually not that difficult considering you also have world legacy guard dragon in this deck so you can move around zones this card can literally uh destroy strategies it's it's kind of ridiculous like it, it, the fact that it destroys columns is kind of funny to be honest um and then rocket synchron because it's a level one tuner and also if you normal summon it you can special summon one level five or higher um dragon dark dragon in your grave and you can special summon it to your field um it's neg it's effectively negated but uh, it just allows you to, uh, you know, synchro up a lot quicker. Also, if you use that effect, it also can't summon anything from the extra deck except dark monsters. So um, that's it for the rockets. Now we're getting into the supporting engines. So we have triple, uh, soul eating movie wrapper, the Carmen add-on. Um, this engine just allows you to get into Ib, the uh, or not Ib, uh, but yeah, Ib, the Justice Seer. Um, this card is actually ridiculous because you just 
as long as you don't have this in hand, because let me tell you, if you draw this, it, it, you're in a kind of a rough spot if you have this as well. So you normal summon OV Raptor, send Carbonate on, banish Carbonate on, special summon your Flameville Guard, and then you synchro up and hit. It's, it's actually a really strong uh, combo. It's just, it, it's kind of like Brilliant Fusion where you don't want to draw it your garnets the only problem is, is you play two garnets unfortunately um there is there is a case that can be made to play draco net with the the um the uh the guard dragon normal monster but i don't think that's that relevant to be honest and you know i just think this is a better option so after that we're playing one red eyes darkness metal one tempest one destrudo one world uh chalice guard dragon and then one flame veil guard this is essentially the the wrapping up of your dragon engine, this this is what allows you to really go in and make your plays and kind of like combo off. Um, this is obviously for the carbon add on. Uh, this actually goes in tandem with the flame bow guard because you just banish it, special summon it back off of uh, your your uh, one card combo. Uh, Destrudo, it's, I mean, it's Destrudo. What else do you, you know, in guard dragons, Destrudo is amazing. Tempest because this allows you to just bring back a level seven and then if you like have a level one tuner on board you can sink right into your savage dragon um, and then darkness metal because you use you abuse it in your uh guard dragon combo which i think i think i think the card needs to be banned to be honest the card will will i mean i i hate to say it because i loved um you know i love the way dragons you know function with red eyes darkness metal as a variable but i feel like the card is just getting kind of ridiculous now with the guard dragon engine so after that we are playing three ash blossom in the main um i know a lot of people resort to playing only two but i like three to be honest because uh you want to see it if you're going second because this deck if your opponent sets up a strong enough board this deck has a little bit of trouble going second um but at the same time you know if you have the ash you can you can mitigate that problem and also uh the deck can otk very easily that's one thing i can say if you can play through your opponent's negates you can otk very very easily but i just play three ash because uh i feel like i feel like this deck does need a bit of a mo bit more disruptive uh capability during the um you know during the following turn after your opponent opens so after that for spells we're playing three of so three quick launch this card is ridiculous I didn't like, I mean, I, I for a while I knew this card wasn't once per turn, but when I found out that, you know, that fact, like, that this card is not once per turn, so if you, like, draw two of them, you can literally chain them to each other, like, that is ridiculous. That's kind of over the top, to be honest. Like, this card is crazy. Um, after that, it's triple fossil dig so that you can search out your, um, your Ovi Raptor. Obviously, I know, uh, I saw Tom Box's profile where he's playing the actual, like, like a small dino engine with like the uh halo and um and the miscellaneous source and i i see his point i just don't want to draw those cards i would much rather just draw like you know one or two bricks rather than drawing the halo or the i mean the miscellaneous can be argued to not be a brick but you'd have to not draw the halo and that's something that like I, you know it just takes too much too much like it it's taking too much into account in my opinion so um, after that, I'm playing three call by the grave. Um, the, you you need to be able to stop your opponent's hand traps because I'll tell you right now, this deck, if your opponent has the right hand trap and uses it at the right time, this deck literally cannot do anything. Like if I go normal summon over your after, my opponent goes ash and I don't have either quick launch or this, like my plays aren't going off. So um, that's that. Now for the rest of the spells, we have two world legacy uh, guard dragon. This card is ridiculous. You need, uh, you just bring back a level four lower dragon monster to your field and then after that you can move you can target one dragon and move it to whatever zone on the field that's open so um it's really really good and then after that one more legacy succession to follow up as another search target for the imp synchro so uh that's that and then after that we're playing one ravine one dragon's mirror to get into the uh Borlo furious dragon um i know that i should, honestly i was thinking of playing two of these but i just don't have the room i mean it is what it is. One for one, Foolish Burial, and Monster Reborn. Um, every, I feel like every one of these cards has some kind of utility. Um, I could be playing Dragon Shrine, but I just feel like um, I don't. I don't feel like that's really necessary considering the the, the uh, Ravine and the Foolish. And not only that, but um, you know, it, it. I already have the Ravine and the Foolish and other cards in the deck to you know function that way. And I don't want to play anything more than forty cards. I just feel like playing anything more than forty is just kind of like you know, it doesn't doesn't lend itself to your consistency at all so um that's it but now we're getting into the extra deck so we are playing one boral sword dragon this card is the ba basically the boss monster of the deck 
um, and it just kills your opponent. Um, it's, it's target effect where you switch something to defense is really one of the shining factors of this card within the realm of this deck strategy. It's really, really good. Uh, I play Borlo Dragon as well, and a lot of people actually don't play Borlo Dragon in this deck, and I understand why, I, you know, but I just feel like Borlo is still such a board breaker in the fact that it can steal monsters, and it can target and reduce, and then, you know, you essentially get the same effect as Borlo Dragon on your rocket monsters as you would with Borlo, Borlo Sword. It's the same thing, so. And that's just more of a more of a board breaker rather than uh, an OTK -er, so. That's the way I look at it um, after that one, so you just Skull Dread because it is necessary for some combos. One Triple Burst Dragon. I wish I had another Ultra. My my actual Ultra is in Th Danger Thunder, and that's a deck that I don't intend on taking apart until it gets hit in some imperative way, so Triple Burst Dragon. Um, after that, Quad Boral Dragon is actually a decent card. Like I understand some people don't play this card at all, but I feel like this card is actually really decent. All it takes is one or is two dragon monsters, and one of them has to be a rocket. And then what you do is you special summon it. You um, you can target one card that, uh, or you discard a card as cost. Or no, you discard a card as cost, and then you target a monster on your opponent's field or one face-up monster on the field, and then you um, you destroy it. And uh, you can't special summon, um, when you use that effect, you can't special summon Link 2s for the remainder of the turn, but that's fine. Because if you destroy a Link monster, you can special summon rocket monsters from your hand or graveyard equal to that monster's Link rating, which allows you to go into one of your, uh, you know, game enders, which is actually a thing. So, uh, Quad Burl Dragon, in my opinion, is still pretty decent. Um, after that one Dragoon Knight Romulus to search the Dragon Ravine, one Cypher Lord Lambda, which, uh, in my opinion, um, you know, I, I was kind of he hesitant to play this um, because, you know, it's a light and you're trying to go mostly into darks. However, I mean, you do, you see, you know, there are earth, there are wind. So as long as you can make your combos before you do um, rocket, you know, the, the, the rocket tuners effect or anything like that, you can, you know, you can use it, utilize whatever. But um, another thing about Lambda is I am signing the uh, Cypher engine, which, or the game engine, which I always do when I'm playing Lambda. Um, you know, I feel like Lambda as a, as a generic Link 2 really isn't all that great, um, so why not back it up with the hand traps? And then last but not least for the Links, the Guard, or the guard Dragons, Agapan, LB, Pisty, very imperative to combos. So that's it for the uh, Links. Now for the Synchros, we're playing three. We're playing Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, Abyss, one uh, Borload Savage Dragon, and one Gib V World Chalice Justice Sears. Now these cards are ridiculous. Um, essentially you want to start off with this one, then you want to make this one with the Agrapane, and then you want to make this one by synchroing into it and using Saryuja as a material, um, or as a, as an equip for it, so it gets four negates over the course of four turns and becomes 4400. This, the, the, like, like, this card is actually stupid. Like, this card is, 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 is capable to, in, in almost any deck, I've seen it in Mermail, I've seen it in Dinosaur, tr or True King Dino, I've seen it in, in, um, in just random synchro slash link spam decks. It's actually stupid. So then last but not least are the two fusions. We play one uh, Border Load Furious Dragon and one Starving Venom Fusion Dragon because I am siding Super Poly and you need to be able to break boards. That's one thing um, that's very important with this deck. Uh, so like if your opponent's playing Danger Thunder, you just fuse off the two Colossuses or you fuse off the Hot Red and whatever, you know, you just need to be able to crack boards in this with the Super Poly just allows you to do that. So now we're getting into the side deck. Um, in, 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 you know, in statistically speaking, it's one of the most important parts of the deck. So you have to make sure that you're really siding uh, either innovatively or just like siding for the meta, like to the degree that, you know, your deck is just, you know, it has everything it needs in terms of, you know, the options to side out with the options to side in and, you, you know, coming up with siding strategies and things like that. But we're going to get right into it. So, like I said, I am playing the Gammas uh, because I am playing the Cyframe uh, Lambda. So, I mean, there's really no um, argument here. I mean, I was actually considering throwing in a Cyframe Lord Omega into the extra deck just for that purpose. But I don't know. I just feel like, I, you know, the extra deck space is kind of tight in this deck, considering... I mean, I could take out Quad Barrel Dragon and put in the Omega, but if that's the case, then, you know, it, it would kind of lead um, astray some of the combos that are already established in this deck. So then after that, we have two 
Panker Tops, uh, Panker Tops, we all know why, it's just really, really strong. Not only that, these are actually searchable off of the Ovi Raptors, so like if you're in a weird scenario, you can just, um, you know, search off and pop something, so that's the thing. Um, after that, for the spells, we play Triple Super Poly, obviously, and Triple Mind Control. Uh, mind Control and Super Poly are honestly two of the strongest spells in the game right now in terms of, like, sided spells, so why not, you know, utilize them both? And then last but not least is a trap card that a lot of people might disagree with me on, but honestly, I think it's very great. And I think it'll only get better with cards like Dark, uh, Dark Ruler No More being released and, you know, Sky Strikers essentially being one of the better decks after that card's release. Um, triple Eradicator Epidemic Virus. You just, you know, if you can set up the right kind of board, like there was a, there was a term where I was able to set up... Um, uh, let's see, I was able to set up the Borlo Savage, the Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, Darkness Metal, and Boral Sword. And you can just flip this and tribute your tribute off your Darkness Metal and just call spells or traps depending upon what your opponent is playing. Like if your opponent is playing Paleo and you just blow out all their cards, or even if you just, you know, you're playing your opponent is playing Sky Striker, you just blow out everything they have. So I feel like this, this card is honestly not too bad of a side option. Obviously, you can play other things. I mean, I've seen people side deck you know like more hand traps and all that but i feel like um you know hand traps are great but i want to blow my opponent out to the degree that they cannot come back and against you know certain decks like you know again i.e sky striker or even paleo or something like that like something that's really based around their spells and their traps like this can just wreck face like it just fucks people up so that is it for my rocket deck profile guys um uh, I'm sure you guys know a lot of the combos, so there won't be a combo tutorial with this one, but I will be doing some test hands with it at some point, so uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I really appreciate the views you guys give us. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's still summertime here, so you know, it's kind of rough being able to bring you guys content. I barely have time to edit, barely have time to do anything, um, you know, between skateboarding and all that, and even then skateboarding is starting to slow down a little bit just because of the rain, so, but either way, Eric here with Team Eccentric, and I'm signing out. Rate and subscribe, leave your comments and ideas in the comments section below, and don't hesitate to give us respectful suggestions on content you want to see. Eric on behalf of the team saying take care and Team Eccentric out.